Good evening, everyone. So my name is Kim Newman. I'm principal of the Chester Arthur School, and I'm an administrator with the School District of Philadelphia. And I'm here tonight while I'm a neighborhood school at 20th and Catherine. Uh, I'm here really to speak on behalf of any K-8 neighborhood school, any questions people may have about the school district in general, about our voluntary transfer process, because you can apply to any school within the school district. Um, you know, so I just think it's very important, not just for me to represent my school, but to really make sure that there's an opportunity for parents to ask all of those questions that you have, not just about Arthur, but about any school in the School District of Philadelphia, and just how the process works, what it's really like, and you know, any way that I could be helpful. My name is Mindy Ambleman. I am, I am the Associate Director of Admission, as well as alum, alumni engagement at Perlman Jewish Day School. Um, we are a kindergarten through fifth grade school. Um, I think one very interesting part of what has changed in our school, we are a unique, very small niche because we are a Jewish day school. There are probably no other Jewish day schools in the room. Um, but one thing that has changed dramatically about our school is that if you look at our fifth grade or even our alumni that are in sixth grade now, this is maybe maximum 10% of our school is from the city. Our first grade and our kindergarten now are almost 50% from the city. We, and I don't want to take away from the public schools, um, however, we have a community within a community in our school, and that center city community has, I always say that it's pertinent to our school, the center city PTO, as we call it, could probably solve the Middle East conflict, because they can do anything. And as you were just talking about, those parents come and get committed and are committed to our community, and that is on top of the excellent academics, that is who we are, and that is what we're most proud of. Hi, I'm Kelly Pierre, I'm the lower school principal at Trent Central, uh, nursery through 12th grade Quaker Independent School in Wynwood, just outside of the city. Uh, we also have a lot of city families. Some city families come from all over the city, other uh, more western Pennsylvania. And I am here because I used to be in admissions. I did 13 years as a teacher in New York City schools, and then was a uh, director of enrollment at a school in Manhattan, uh, and I wanted to put the teaching and the administration together. I, I have two children, fourth and eighth grade, and I was looking for a school for all of us because we were all in different schools in Manhattan, so three different schools, a lot to manage, um, and I wanted to find a school for all of us, and when I got to Friends Central, it felt like such an unbelievable match that I was willing to move all of us down here um, from New York to Philadelphia. So I am here and excited to tell you why I felt like it was an incredible school for me and for my children, um, and hope that uh, you come see what you think is for your family. And like she said, you have to trust your instincts and do what's good fit for you. Hi, my name is Frances Buber, and I work at the Philadelphia School, which is located here in Center City. We are from preschool through eighth grade. Um, I am here uh, because our school is unique uh, in a couple of ways versus some of the other schools that are speaking. I'm, I'm excited to share kind of how our model works and how that might be a good fit for some families that are in the audience. I think some of the things that stand out as a little bit different is that we end in eighth grade. Um, the other thing is we are a progressive school, and so um, our approach to how we uh, engage the children is uh, unique, and I'm excited to share that, and also just excited to say, as um, as Trent said, um, I am excited to be able to help you find the right choice for your child, because there are so many um, different kinds of schools. Uh, ultimately, I think that's what, as admission people, we want to do is help you find the right fit. Hi, I'm Erica Goldberg. I'm from Greentown Montessori School, and um, we are pre-preschool. We start at 18 months old and go through kindergarten. So our students go to all of these wonderful schools. Um, there are 25 to 30 schools in Philadelphia and in the region that our kindergartners go to for first grade. And um, all the schools sitting here. <laughs> so, these are we're all friends. 
Um, I came to Greentown as a parent in 1997 when my son was three because I really felt like he was a hands-on learner, um, as most children are at that age. They learn through experience, and it was an amazing experience for him. I really got to know what kind of person he is, what kind of learner he was, and it really helped me decide and choose what the next step was for him. And a lot of our parents um, find that. So when you're at a, at a small school for the early years, you really get a chance to get to know who your child is. And he went on to a school that ends in eighth grade for first grade, who was on this panel. And then after that, he went on to another school for high school that is on this panel. <laughs> so <laughs> I just want to let you know there are a lot of choices. I have been through the admissions process four times with one child. And it was all because that was what was right for him at every stage. Um, and I hope that I can help all of you. There are a lot of great schools in Philadelphia for every level. Um, and I love helping parents find that. And if it's not us, I will try to help you find what it is. <laughs> My name is Ruth Bia Foster, and I'm from the St. Peter's School, which is third and Lombard. It is a preschool through eighth grade school. And our preschool starts in at three years old, where some preschools start at four years old. So one of the reasons why I'm here and I like this season is I get to see all of these wonderful people here uh, with the shared goal of making sure that families aren't nervous about this process. I think the most disturbing thing that happens is when we get calls from families of ch uh, parents who haven't had their children born yet who are <laughs> nervous about placement or the dad that was on the phone with me crying today because his wife said, they were way behind, way behind the process for their 18-month-old um, for a three-year-old program. And I think the recent you know, articles and uh, Philadelphia Magazine and a lot of things going on is causing a lot of anxiety. And it's not a perfect process, but you'll find the right fit for your child. Um, I think all of us up here have kids who probably went to our school. My son is at St. Peter's. Fortunately, it was the right fit for him when he was first little. I looked at several schools in this area and I really wanted him to go to one school on this panel because it was the school for me. Mm -hmm. It was not for him. I remember talking to Corinne about that and having her tell me to stop being crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> so one of the reasons why I'm here is because you know there is such a wonderful variety in Philadelphia and there are great schools that will fit your child, whether it's preschool through 12th grade or preschool through eighth grade or K to eighth grade, um, there is a perfect fit. And we just wanna encourage you to go and visit every school possible, whether it's in your neighborhood or outside of your neighborhood. We're all on this panel. It's interesting, there's kind of like um, religious school, public school, progressive school, Waldorf school, St. Peter's, which people think is parochial, which is not. Um, <laughs> we're just a regular independent school and you know, a new school for gifted learners. There's such a diverse variety available um, that you can't go wrong in Philadelphia. If we were in like Iowa, you might have like two choices. Philadelphia, you have over like 35 in the area. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I like to come to these events is to share our collective knowledge about what Philadelphia has to offer. And I think one of the best parts about it is we're all, we all know each other. So if there's a, a student who I meet and I meet their parents and they seem like they might be great for, great fit for St. Peter's, great. If they're talking to me and they're like, oh, my kid likes to be outside all the time and you know, we're really progressive, I'm like, oh, I need to go for it. Um, <laughs> so, um, so you know, I encourage you to ask all of us questions. And even if you're going on tours and interviews, you know, we'll let you know if we feel like we're the right fit for your family and vice versa. Or if there's someone else, you know, I feel like we all have the cards for each other in our offices. So, um, and also educational consult consultants who work really well or testing uh, consultants who test children for all of the different schools in the area who can say, well, I've been to your kid and I think this might be a right fit for them. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I like to come to these events too. I'm Carrie Walton Brown. It's always treacherous to go last because all these people have gone before you. And we're actually, nobody's gone before us because we're new. And we're the only school in the state of, Pensil of Pennsylvania, let alone the citywide area of Philadelphia. We're doing something no one else wanted to do or could do. 
So if that is groundbreaking, we're a school that's intended for, built on, and everything is mission driven for students who are gifted. Um, it's funny, you would say, oh, I have a gifted school. That's a misplaced modifier, it's not a gifted school. It's a school for gifted kids, and the kids know this, and they'll correct you about it. But that that is um, kind of the cheeky way of looking at uh, something that isn't, um, hasn't been done here before, that's offering something, again, new to what is already oh, an amazing opportunity for parents. I'm a parent, um, and I started this school two and a half years ago with our founder. I am a founder, um, and I'm on the executive board, and the slate for me is I'm gonna be chair of the language arts department. But essentially, I've been building a school um, based on best practices. We have an incredible advisory board of research and data, like you can't believe, that has informed us what we're doing. And we're not the first person or first group to want to do this, we're following in all these other footsteps and taking that and then building something new. So um, it's incredibly exciting and exhilarating. We have 12 students. Um, we're gonna be small, we're gonna stay small. One of the things that thrills me as an educator, my background is in teaching. I have a master's, I taught in five states and two coasts. I've done single sex co ed, private, public. Um, I've been around the block. Eight students in a classroom to one teacher is our max. Um, and it's, it's project based learning. It's familiar with that, um, which is also incredibly progressive and exciting. So we're doing something that isn't done anywhere else. Um, we have a family that drives from New Jersey. Uh, we have a family that drives over an hour uh, every one way to get their kid because it's a need that hasn't been met yet. Um, so we have um, lots of newness, lots of open houses, and lots of opportunities for students who are, who think differently, um, who want to learn, and who are excited about that. Um, and it's, it's it more than exhilarating to tell you to walk into those classrooms today and see that happening. Um, after a long way to go to get there, it, these kids are unbelievably in the right place for that. So the fit concept, 100%, has to be the way it should be, it should be organic. And that's um, what we're looking for. So I'm happy to um, help anybody know more about it. Um, I, I'm in it, so thanks.